Okay, so typically this is the way we start in doubles. One up, one back on both sides. Now the team that gets to the net first has the advantage because they can finish the point, end the point up at the net. They have more angles, and if they get a high one, they can put it away. But when you get to the net, shot selection becomes very important. So that's what we're going to talk about right now. Shot selection when you get to the net. Okay. All right. Diane, I want you to take this short ball and come into the net. Oh, ready, Diane? Don't stop. Just keep going. Okay, good. Stop right there. Okay, now, no, stay right there, Diane. Now, Diane, you're a little bit too much towards the middle. Take a half a step to the right. Okay, good. All right, now, as we see in this scenario, the team on that side has the advantage. I'm back. My partner, Rito, is, is at the net. Now, he's a sitting duck for anything that I hit up too high. Now, here's the key. Shot selection. Very important now. So basically, here's what you have to remember. When you get into a volley position here, if the ball is high enough, anything that you feel you can get offensive with, but that's the key. You have to be able to be offensive. You're going to aim at the outside T. You see where the single sideline meets the service line? Okay, Rito is pointing to the outside T here. Now remember, that's your A plus shot when you get a high ball. Now you have outside T's on both sides of the court. Now depending on where the opposing net player is, the one that he's closest to is the one you're aiming for because that way you can get the ball by him quickly. That's going to be, a, if you hit the ball there with authority, very difficult for Rito to get that back with anything, okay? Now that's the A-plus shot, the outside T. Even if you just aim at Rito's feet, okay, and you hit it hard enough, chances are you're going to win the point most of the time, okay? So that's where you go if the ball is up here, right? If it's up, up around shoulder height or higher, right? If you have an overhead, obviously you're going right there, okay? Now, but what, what happens is if, if you get a low ball? Let's say I hit a ball down here. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go this way because if you pop it up, Rito's going to give you the fuzz sandwich, right. right? So if the ball is low, you just want to hit what's called a neutral volley. You just hit it back to me deep. Mm -hmm. Just hit it back there. Remember, doubles is about patience. Be patient, wait for the high one that you can put away, and then go to the right spot. So you're either going to go deep, or if it's low, you can do short angle. You just short angle it. But those are your two options if the ball is low. Mm -hmm. Now when I say low, I mean anything around net high. And here's where it gets tricky. Let's say I hit a shot that starts out kind of high, but by the time you hit it, it's down here, okay? If the ball starts high, but when you're making contact, it's here, don't go towards Rito. Hit the short angle or hit it deep. So that's what we're going to work on. You two stay here, and I'm going to hit you different shots, low ones, high ones, and we're just going to work on shot selection, okay? Because this is the kind of thing that has to become like autopilot. You know, you don't even think about it. You see a high one, boom, you got to set yourself up so you can hit that outside tee, okay? If you get a low one, you're going right over here for a little short angle, or you're just hitting that neutral volley back. Uh, yeah. You ever seen that many times? Like, you'll, you'll be watching the guys on, on TV, pro tennis. You say, why is he hitting it back to him? Because it's not the right ball. You know, if it's a low ball, you just have to hit a neutral ball. Just hit it back. Be patient. Wait for the high one that you can put away. All right, Rito's in the hot seat. Give Rito, no, <laughs> give him a new belly button. Here we go. Watch it. That's nice. That's a beautiful neutral volley. That'll work.
Right, you get a high one. You, beautiful, fantastic. You see, that's why if you have a little target, it really helps. I mean, you didn't hit the target, but you still hit a winner. Here we go, hit down more at his feet. Low one, back to me. Okay, here Diane does a nice job of recognizing she has a ball she can be offensive with. She moves her feet, closes in on the net, and goes for the outside tee. That's perfect on the high one. That's where you want to go. Okay, watch as this point unfolds. Judy does a nice job here. She hits a neutral volley back to me. She's being patient here, and she gets the prize. Okay, she gets the high one. She recognizes it, sets herself up to hit towards Rito. She goes at Rito, but doesn't keep it down at his feet enough, and Rito's able to get it back. Diane recognizes, hey, I can put this away, and she goes right back at Rito towards the outside tee and blows the ball by him. I'm going to mix them up, and I'm not even going to say who I'm going to hit it to. So now, shot selection. That's all we're working on. If the ball's low, short angle or neutral volley back to me. You get the high one, outside tee or Rito's feet. There you go. That's the idea, Judy. That's the idea. Back to me, Diane. Come on. Perfect. Now you get the prize. There you go. Almost. Keep going at him. Keep going at him. Keep going at him. There you go. Keep it in play. That's it. Almost. Feet, feet, feet. Remember what Rod Laver said. You volley with your feet. When you see that ball is just hanging there like this, you got to come in. You got to move your feet on that. You're volleying that ball much more with your feet than your your hitting arm, all right? Here we go. That's great. Come on. There you go. That's the idea. Very good. Okay, here Diane does a nice job. She takes a low volley, hits back a nice neutral volley deep back towards me. Here, Judy takes a ball that starts out high, but by the time she hits it, it's low. Hits a nice little short angle volley. She gets the prize and she goes right to the outside tee. Moving her feet, she closes in nicely. Awesome, Judy, fantastic. You see how she hit the little angles? If you're patient, eventually you're gonna get that, that ball that's popped up a little bit. Okay, thank you very much. Really appreciate it, great job. Make sure to sign up for my free online tennis camp for more tips like these. All the best and happy hitting. Take care.